In this video, I want to go over the Code Wars problem, square every digit. Now, even though it is a 7KYU problem, it is a bit tricky because there's going to be a lot of typecasting in this problem. Now, I'm going to show you what it wants us to do by example, and that's going to be the example that they give us. So, you can see that the uh, variable that they pass us is called num. This is what num is going to be. However, it's going to be in the form of an integer. What it wants us to do is to iterate throughout every individual integer in this larger integer, so 9, 1, 1, to 9, square each one, and then put it together and return it as an integer. So let's go start with 9. 9 squared is 81, so 81 is here. 1 squared and 1 squared both are just uh, 1, so that'll be 1 and 1. And then 9 squared again is 81, so 81. And that's essentially what it wants us to do. Now, it seems pretty easy at first. However, if you're not really good with typecasting or at least have a general under idea of how to do it, you might have some issues. Now, this number, as I have told you, is actually an integer. Integers are not iterable. So what we need to do is we need to convert this into something that we can iterate into some kind of data structure that we can iterate through. Well, lists are perfect. Uh, for this, so I'm going to convert this number into a list of, inter of integers. So we're going to do this with typecasting, and we're going to say nums is equal to int uh, x, sorry, x, so we're casting it, for x in string num. The reason we converted this number into a string is because we can't iterate throughout this number unless we convert it into a string. And then once it's a string, we don't want it to be a list of strings. We want it to be a list of integers, so we convert it back into a integer. If that's confusing, I'm sorry. Just <laughs> look through it. I promise it will make sense. Now what we need to do is we're going to create a variable called string and set it equal to a empty string. And this is going to be the string that we start appending or concatenating our squared integer into. So next, now that we have a list of integers that we can now iterate through, we're going to do just that. So we are going to say for i in um, nums, which is our list of integers, we're just going to concatenate string plus equals i times i. However, uh, these are integers, and you cannot concatenate integers to a string. So what we need to do is multiply these two together, and then once we have done that, convert it or cast it into a string that is now capable of being concatenated to our string variable. Once we have done all that, all we have to do is return our string. However, our string is actually a string, not an integer. So if we attempt this, and you look at it, you see it's exactly right. 9414 should equal 9414. 4114 should equal 4114. However, ours is a string, as you can see with the quotes, and theirs is an integer. So what we need to do is actually cast it again into an integer. And once we've done that, it should work. So 103 passed. Um, if you're not very good, regardless of what your skill level is in programming, if you're not very good with casting, this is a very, very good problem to help you improve upon that. Um, so even though it might be only a 7KYU problem, I think it's uh, very valuable to do, regardless of your skill level. So if you like this video or you gained any value from it, I would appreciate it if you liked, commented, and subscribed. And I will see you guys in future tutorials.